Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a question on one of our videos and somebody was asking about the Divi Blurb module here. This one on the right is a regular Divi Blurb module and they wanted to have the image on the bottom, like I've got here on the left. Really easy to do, you can do it with a bit of simple coding, but there may be other options that you might not have considered that don't involve any coding. So I'm going to go through a couple for you today. Let's enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down to where we want to work. And I'll simply get rid of this blurb module and we'll start from scratch. I've got a section, blue tab, with a row, the green tab that's got two columns in it. I'm simply going to add a new blurb module to this column on the right. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. You get an extra dozen also when you've got WooCommerce installed to display your products. So I'm going to pop a blurb module in there. And there it is. Let's just add an image to it, move this over so you can see. Just roll down to add your image. I'm not going to style it, I'm going to leave it just like it is. Okay, let's use a different image this time. Okay, so there's your regular blurb module. And this person wanted the, the image to be on the bottom. So what I'd probably do if it was me rather than code it, I'd just simply delete this image so there's no image there at all. I'd save the module. Then I'd go in, I'd add an image module. Pop whatever image you want in there. Let's use that same one again. And there you go. You've got it on the bottom if you want it on the top pop it at the top now i don't know the reason that you don't want to do that or perhaps you just not considered it but that's probably the way i do it if you want to do it with code let's do it with code so we still got our blurb module here let's go and put the image back in there okay now we want to pop this bit up to the top and have the image on the bottom. If we roll over to our advanced tab right here and we'll go down to custom CSS we've got before, main element, after, blurb image, blurb title and blurb content. In the blurb title I'm going to move that up by 100% negative margin top of negative 100% and that will pull it right up to the top there so I'll say margin top negative 100% semicolon and as you can see our title and everything now is on top of our image but it's kind of out of alignment we want to scoot it down to be in line with everything else so the simple way of doing that is go to design you could do it in the code if you wanted to but I'm going to simply going to go to the design tab I'm going to go to spacing I'm going to go to padding top 150 pixels I used on the last one there it is let's make sure those are in line and there you go and again you've got your writing and title on the top and your image on the bottom so there's two ways of doing it a short little video today like I say the easiest way maybe just to use an image module and a blur module and just align them how you want but it's very easy with a little bit of code and I'll drop that little bit of code margin top 100% down below the video if anybody wants to copy and paste it so there you go guys i hope you've enjoyed that today and i hope that's answered that question for you once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day